What's up bikers, I'm Johnny Thompson from fit for racing and today we're talking about the deadlift and how not to kill your training partner whoa, with your whoa. own spine shooting out of your ass. No one wants to do that. And I did wonder, would that be murder or manslaughter? Thanks for tuning in to number two of our technique videos. It's really important now that you watch, if you haven't already, the squat video. Because the squat is a squat. The deadlift is a hinge. We talked about not hinging the squat, and we're gonna talk about not squatting the hinge. If that made no sense at all, bear with me. Look at the deadlift. We're talking about a single joint movement. So the hip does most of the work. There's minimal forward inclination of the knee. Now if the knee goes forwards, or the more forwards it does go, the more activation of the quads. And what we want to do with the deadlift is work the posterior chain. This is for posterior chain and core development, not for maximal lifts and the best way to pick up the heaviest weight from the ground. That would be wrong because we're here for sports performance, specifically for bike athletes. So we don't care what you can lift on an all out effort. What we do care about is your technical lifts and they're done soundly. So don't lose the purpose of the deadlift, posterior chain and core development. Your bros aren't gonna like it when your spine shoots out and hits them in the face because you've rounded your back so much with a maximal effort lift. They're gonna find it disgusting and you're probably gonna die from it. 99% of the time, a deadlift is failed from the core and not because of the glute and hamstring strength. So bear this in mind next time you're picking up a weight. If you feel like you can do it, but then you're getting out of position, stop. Just absolutely stop because you'll miss the purpose of the deadlift. As soon as you're out of position and you're lifting with your back, not only are you compromising your spine, but you're not getting the performance gains that we're after in the glutes and hamstrings. So doubly bad to be out of position. Don't do that. So safety first and that equals performance first. Stick with that. Thanks for watching our deadlift tutorial video. Didn't want to get too technical today, but it's important to understand the mechanics of these movements so that when you're doing them in the gym, you're doing it with purpose and understanding. Because ultimately, we want you to be better on the bike. Now, if you're getting things mixed up in the gym, seek some more advice. Feel free to film it and send it to us so we can critique it for you. Comment underneath with any questions because ultimately we want you to be better riders and we're trying to help you towards that. So any questions, don't go it alone. Ask somebody, ask us. Hopefully we can help. Until next time, peace. One, two, three. Listen.